OK, I'm going to acid rock over to the <laughs> Beko kitchen. I'll stop doing the dance because no, I'm... No, it's really, it really good. You like that? Yeah, well, let's hope it's as good as a vegetarian curry because it doesn't sound very good, but... Yeah, you don't seem too thrilled for well, some no, reason. But that's the thing with you, Mark. You take normal ingredients and you turn it into something spectacular. So what have we got before us here? Right, so we've got a vegetarian dish. Yeah. But look at this. Look at these ingredients. It's got beautiful cauliflower in there, Yum. so it gives a nice texture, depth of flavour, potatoes and kumara. We're going to put in there, so it will just give us a nice, um, mm. you know, component for the uh, dish. You know, fill you up, and look at all these spices as well. A little bit of chili in there, and a nice sort of garlicky, tomatoey base. It's Brilliant. going to be great. No, no, well, I'm trusting <laughs> you on that. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Sorry about all the noise this morning as well. In the kitchen, we're just banging everything. We're ready to go. We're looking forward to getting that recipe started soon. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen, and that means we've got a tasty dish. And today we are doing a vegetarian dish. Do you make many vegetarian meals at home? Is the family going vegetarian? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is no, but there's nothing wrong with vegetarian. No, food. well, look, I did some research. Back in New Zealand, 2002, there was 1% to 2% of the population vegetarian. <laughs> I thought you were going to say 1% to 2% people. <laughs> <laughs> now, in 2015, 10.5% of the population, of the population <laughs> is vegetarian. And that would have grown, I would assume, over the last three years. So oh, definitely, definitely. It's and definitely growing. It looks fantastic. Got some basic veggies, but we're going to make them taste good with that curry mix. Yeah, definitely. And you know, and 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 I think you know, people say vegetarian food, and a lot of people go, "Oh, it's not going to taste of anything, or it's not going to, you know, satisfy me or anything." But that's, you know, it's totally not true. You know, we can get so much flavour into it, and you know, we're using different vegetables there. You know, to just to you know to, to bulk out the meal. You know, it's going to be just as heavy as a, a or just as fulfilling yeah. as a as a, you know as a as a meat curry. You know, it's tasty. You, you don't need to either. I mean, it's great, and summer's coming now, so it's nice to eat a bit lighter and salads and, and, and just eat, eat fresh and healthy, you know? Nice work. Right, so first job. Yes, you put the potatoes uh, in yeah. there, salt them away. Yeah, so just lightly salted water. we uh, cubed them up. Cut the potatoes, and we're just going just gonna to sort of boil them for about three, four minutes. So we're just going to start the cooking on the potatoes now. Okay. And, and now we're going to get the rest of the vegetables ready, and we're going to roast them. So the reason nice. why we, we pre-cook them a little bit is because um, if we put them all raw on the plate, the other vegetables are going to be cooked before the potato. So, Brilliant. Nice. So speed it up there a little bit. Right, so cauliflower. And cauliflower's great. And, you know, and, and if you're going to make a curry at home or anything like that, like a stew, cauliflower is a really good one to put in there, you know? If you don't want it as heavy as a, a potato or a starch in there. And what is it about the cauliflower? <coughs> is it because they suck up all the flavours? Yeah, you know, all the flavours sort of like, you know, stick to all the outside yeah. of it. You know, it's, it's a... You know, it's a unique flavour, but it's it's almost like a canvas. Okay, nice. And so you basically, make them the same size as your potatoes. Yeah, yeah. So cool. not, I mean, not not too fine. Sort of nice and chunky. Nice. Uh, so we're going to put this in a hot oven and just roast it for about forty-five minutes. So, so we'll get a nice colour on there. Any particular uh, seasoning or oil we're going to put on the pan before we roast? Yes, we are. Oh, okay, we're, good. We're getting that to jumping into that at night. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry, chef. Right, some kumara now. Yes. So kumara. So whatever kumara you want. So we've got a nice, beautiful orange kumara. Oh, nice. Um, so we're just going to dice that up as well. You know, you leave the skin on, it's really good. There's loads of flavour in the skin, just make sure you wash it first. Okay, and you don't need to pre all that, do you? No, 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 it's really good. So, kuma's a great one because you can, you know, I think it's really hard, but you can chuck it in the oven and roast it, it's and, nice. it, you know, it cooks relatively quick. Beautiful. Okay, nice. So there's the kuma of the cauliflower. This is quick and easy, isn't it? It's going to be there quick you go. and easy you know, and, you. and it's really, it's going to be really easy as well because we're going to roast this in the oven and we're actually going to, a uh, little bit of oil in there. Yep. Going to give it a nice little bit of um, salt and pepper, which you okay. can do. Okay, I can do that. Right, and then we're going to put the actual um, seeds and flavours of the curry over the vegetables. So as it roasts in the oh, oven, okay. cooks the vegetables, it's going to toast and, uh, and flavour as well. Brilliant. So a few cumin seeds go on there. Coriander seeds. Yes. So that's really good. You know, I mean, you could do this in the sauce if you wanted through the pan, you know, roast them, but this is just a, it's just a different way of doing it. Curry right, so, powder? Yeah, a little bit of curry powder. You can put some turmeric in there if you want. Nice. You know, and just, you know, as we, as we sort of dust it over the top, you can give it a nice little stir okay. so everything's coated. A little bit of cinnamon as well, you know, for some sweetness, and a little bit of um, chilli powder. Oh, it smells great! In there, you know, so all those flavours in there. Right, and then what we can do now is... Yep. Um, you're going to put some potatoes yeah, in. Yeah, just the potatoes now. So that's just been a couple of minutes in there. They're okay. just starting to soften in around the outside. But that's just sort of giving it a head start. And then they just go on the tray. And then we're going to whack this in a hot oven, about 180 Brilliant. degrees for about 45 minutes. Fantastic. And okay, then, nice. 
and then we're going to start the sauce. Okay, cool. We'll come back and do the sauce very soon. We need to get cracking with this curry sauce. Vegetarian curry is what we're doing. We've roasted our veggies. They smell incredible. Yeah, look at that. So all the spices are there. Um, mm. The coriander's toasted and the cumin, so you're getting all those aromas. You know, the vegetables are um, the roasted, taking on some colour, but they're still holding the shape. But um, you know they are cooked. Yeah, they look so great. All we need to do is just finish off, finish it off in the sauce. So we're going to make the sauce now. Okay. So a little bit of oil that? in there over a medium heat, yep. and then some curry leaves. Curry leaves. Right, and you're going to fry them. Yep. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add some garlic as well now. So we'll uh -huh. just get it, just get it bubbling. And then the trick now is to, um, you know, once we get the garlic in there and the curry leaves, we want to flavour that oil and bring out all the flavours of the ingredients. Okay, I but, see. So we don't want to uh, get too much heat in there. We don't want too much colour. Um, just sort of like nice controlled heat to bring out all those aromas and flavours. Okay. Okay. Starting to sizzle there away a bit. Yeah, lovely. So we turn it down. So just for about a minute, but you'll okay. start smelling it. Oh, it does smell delicious. A little bit of green chilli we're just going to pop in now. Okay, great. And, you know, and this is, this is so simple. You know, it's a really simple, easy um, sauce. But remember, you know, there doesn't look like many ingredients in there, but remember, we've got all those ingredients already on the vegetables, which, you, you know, you've already done. Yeah, and as Holly said earlier, you know, it's so affordable on the pocket as well. And make use of the vegetables you may have sitting in the bottom of the veggie drawer. Make yourself up this curry. Well, it's on the time to plant vegetables now. Yes, you're right, spring. Yeah, yep. I, got some, uh, I got some vegetables in over the weekend. Nice, what'd you plant? Uh, strawberries. Okay. Weekends. Might be a little bit early, but um, fingers crossed, you know, we've had some great weather. Uh, what else did we plant? We planted uh, some corn, some tomatoes, nice. just a bit of everything. You had a little bit herb crazy. garden in the weekend, Ooh. actually. No, oh, no, changing no. your mind. You forgot Ta something. Talking about vegetables. Now we're going to make the sauce first before we put it in. Okay, I can smell the aromas coming from. This smells great. You know, so ti there's a tiny bit of colour on the garlic, so you don't want to take it any more than that. You know, the chilli's there, all the aromas are there. A can of tomatoes, pop that in. Okay. You know, you can bring it up to the boil now. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of uh, pepper, a little bit of salt, and just get all those flavours, um, you know, marrying together. That's weird. And a little pinch of sugar as well. You know, if you use canned tomatoes, you know, don't be, don't be afraid of just putting a pinch of sugar in there just to balance that acidity out, you know? I mean, you don't need to, but it um, just always helps with a little bit of seasoning if you want. Okay, great. Let's go on. Quite nice. What yeah. now? So bring that to the boil, yep. and put a lid on it, turn it down, just simmer it for about 15 minutes for okay. all those flavours to go in. Uh, and then all you've got to do is uh, pop your vegetables in. Oh, you know? yum. You know, if you've, if you've roasted them and you start your sauce a bit late, just uh, give the vegetables enough time to warm up. But, you know, your vegetables are cooked, so you just want to coat them. Nice. Um, and then we've got a little bit of uh, lime juice. So a nice squeeze of fresh oh, lime okay. in there. You know, you can pop some uh, fresh herbs in there, basil, coriander, you know, anything you've got, in, you know, what's grown in the herb garden. And uh, serve it with some rice or some uh, naan bread or even some yogurt with a bit of mint in, which is really good, you know. Cools it down, nice and creamy, spicy. Mm -hmm. I can Brilliant. smell it. Yeah, I can smell that lime. You put Pretty simple. Well. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the colours, look at the textures, and wait until you taste it after. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to taste it. We'll do towards the end of the show. It's going to be delicious. Of course, the website has a recipe for today. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. Mark, how's the curry tuna? It smells delicious. Look at that. Just finishing playing it up now. Looks fantastic. So you've got some fresh coriander <laughs> over the top, a little mint yogurt, some rice, and some freshly toasted naan bread. Look at that. Looks Yum. fantastic. Mm. Fantastic. Now, Ooh, Jesse, a normal barista, hates coriander. What about you, Sam? Do you no, like I love, coriander? I love coriander. Oh, something he can eat. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got Asian steak.